Hey guys, welcome to Commenting on Comments, where I comment on your comments and um, comment about them, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, let's roll that intro and get on with some comments. Alright, our first comment here is from the 2012 Charger. And they said, have you ever tried iced teas, or have you ever tried hard iced teas or Angry Orchard Hard Cider? Uh, we got this iced tea up here called Mike's Hard Iced Tea. And we have another one called, I can't remember the name of it. They're not too bad, but the problem I have with those hard iced teas and hard lemonades and ciders is I find they dry my throat out, so I drink them way too fast, get really blitzed, and then pass out on someone's couch or the shitter. Nathan Holmes once said, What made you turn to vaping over any other way of quitting the darts? I tried it because I saw the clouds you were pumping out and thought, Wow. Two years later, I'm now running an iStick TC40 watt with a Triton Aspire tank. Honestly, bud, the reason why I tried uh, e-darts over any of the other ways is because I already tried all the other ways. Tried the patch, didn't work. Tried the uh, the pills uh, between Champix, Wellbutrum, and Zyban. All three of those had different mental effects on me. Uh, Champix gave me wicked nightmares and massive nosebleeds. Well, Butram, I was a depressed piece of shit, and I wanted to kill myself. And on Zyban, I couldn't focus. Like, ADHD mode was high. Like, literally, I couldn't focus on anything. Uh, I'd be sitting at work, and I actually told the guy to power cycle his barbecue. Like, what the fuck? You don't tell someone to power cycle their barbecue. They shouldn't even be near the barbecue. They're working on their computer. And the guy's like, are you okay? And I'm like, no, really, I'm not. I'm really not okay right now, and I had to quit that. Um, the patch was working, but the problem with the patch and the problem with all those other ones is they ramp you down way too hard on an inclination. Like you start off with a good amount of nicotine and then you go down to the medium patches and it's a mega drop. So you got to readapt and be like, fuck, I really need some nicotine right now. That's what I like about vaping is, you know, you start off at a 24 if you want. The cowboy tobacco, 24, just roast your throat out. And... You will feel yourself after a while of smoking that, that, okay, it's too much, I gotta bring her down. So then you drop to an 18. You won't be staying at 18 too long, unless you're some people I know. Uh, and then you basically go from an 18 down to a 12. You won't stay at 12 very long. I literally stayed at 12 for maybe three weeks, and I was down to a 6. And now I'm down to like a 3. I, I only use the nicotine in there because apparently nicotine preserves your coils. The more you know. Alright, uh, next commenter is Sagal Gal Guntijak. Guntiak? I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> uh, I'd have assembled them a bit differently. He's talking about the burgers from the cheeseburger cook-off with Cooking with the Hobo. Uh, I'd have assembled them a bit differently. Bottom bun, mayonnaise, salad, or spinach. A few onion rings. Ooh, onion rings on a burger would be good. Unless you're talking about just like rings of onion. Then, okay. I mean like a breaded onion ring. That's what I, I hear onion ring, I think that. Uh, burger meat plus cheese, a slice of tomato or two. Tomato would have been good on it, I just didn't have any. Uh, mayonnaise on the top bun, slap it together. I like my burgers diverse, always the same way. Yeah, I wish I would have had tomatoes for that, bud, because I love tomatoes on a burg. 2CV Bloke says, so how do I turn off the propane on my charcoal barbecue when I'm done with it? You fucking troll. <laughs> the Mer Barso says, um, The back garden might be a good place to learn the drone. Less chance of damaging hitting the grass. Then again, there's dog poop into the equation. Yeah, but because the dog's always tied up outside 90% of the time, the poop is kind of confined outside the entranceway, so we might be okay. Finn Painter 1 says, The real drones are easy to control. Oh, God, yeah. Uh, they're also, they are GPS guided, oops, caps, oh well. Um, yeah, they are really easy to fly. When I flew my friends, I think it's called a Cytel or something, I can't remember. Uh, it wasn't too bad. It was easy to control. The thing leveled off on its own, like you just let go of the controls and it would level off. You wanted to go down, you pulled down on the thing. And that's the problem I have with that remote is... There is no down and up. Like it, on the good ones, the stick for your elevation stays centered. So if you want to go up, you push it up a bit. If you want to go down, you pull it down a bit, and the drone would do that. That one there, it's like flying a, a model helicopter. When you press up, it goes up. If you want to go down, you got to slowly decrease it, and it's just a pain in the cock. 
The Grim Reaper says, Vlog and Life, that would have been a good slow-mo to do when the blade came off the drone and went by the camera, bud. That was cool. Yeah, um, I wish I had more light for it, though, because when you start doing slow-mo, the video gets really, really dark. And that would have been awesome on video. Tommy NC 2010 says, That's my challenge to you, to you, Adam, to see how many pepperoni cocks that you can fit in your mouth. Why do you want me to wedge a bunch of pepperoni cocks in my mouth, bud? Why would you want me to do that? But the answer is 14. Skynet948 says, Adam, do you guys ever see the northern lights that far north? My wife wants to see them. No, um, I don't think I ever have. I think you need to go a little bit more f farther north. I think Adrian said when they were in Moose Factory that they saw them. I believe he said that, but no, not in North Bay. You wouldn't see them. ZX8401ZTV says, Sounds like Oreo is terrified when you leave the house. Yeah, um, he's just turning into a great big suck lately, and I don't know what the fuck his problem is. I think it was the fleas. Uh, now he seems kind of cool that he's got his medication, and the fleas aren't bugging him. But, um, I don't know. I guess we'll find out tomorrow when I go back to work. Joshua Clark says, Hey Adam, I was wondering if you have ever been to England before. No, but I think Dad has. But I have never, but I would like to go and check it out sometime. I just don't know if I'd be able to drive over there because that whole driving on the left-hand side of the road, I don't know. That's kind of fucky for me. Like, on left... Oh, sorry about that. On the left-hand side of the road, but you're sitting on the right-hand side of the car. No, somebody else would be driving, I'd be riding shotgun. As of 56 says... Looks like you got yourself a Keurig guard kitty. Yeah, she keeps an eye on the coffee. The only problem is when I go to make coffee and she won't let me near the Keurig. It's a pain in the ass. But anyway, people, that's all we got for this episode of Commenting on Comments. Thanks for uh, thanks for your submissions of the comments, because without those comments, I wouldn't be able to film Commenting on Comments. So keep those comments coming, and I will do my best to keep Commenting on Comments coming. So thanks for watching. Like, favorite, and definitely comment. And until next time, people, peace the frig out.